punish. It's another day. The Lord has made. Let's be glad in Him. We thank Him for the gift of life, for making us to see this day. This morning, quickly, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you, Father, for bringing us thus far. Even as we hear your word, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will bless this word in our hearts abundantly in the name of Jesus. Our topic this morning is des- destined lovers. Destined lovers. The word this morning may sound like destined war lovers, but in this context, we are talking about. The love of the Spirit, the love of Christ, and the love in us for Him. In Galatians 5, verse 18, He said, If ye are led by the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now, everything in life, once again, is spiritual. We are destined to be lovers with the Master. He first loves us. Even when we never do, even when we never appreciate it, it shows us love. Our bridegroom was never that slavishly obedient bride to begin with. Sure, he loves it when his people conform to his standard, but no groom with even an ounce of passion wants a coat calculated servant for a bride no God purpose from the very beginning was for a people for himself who live breathe and loved him loved him he wanted hearts that beat his readings companion with whom to share his secrets and his deep longing. Ruth never accomplished that, only freely giving love and intimacy do. That why the law of Moses is not at the end of the Bible, it starts a lesson in frutality of human sin. It existed, according to Paul, to lead us to Christ. Galatians 3.24 is to save no one is it, it is always sh- it always show us our need for a savior the fulfillment of the plan the early christian realized was staggering truth that god make us not to know him through obedience but to obey through knowing him the romantic embrace from our holy suitor confessed then our character can transform to look like him. And the evidence of this romantic embrace come in Acts 2. As the wind blew and the fire fall, the Holy Spirit claims his true love. We will never be the same. It is genuine shame that many Christians have turned this holy intimacy back into religion. We have. It is too close, too personal. Religion is easier. It keeps God at harm length. But if God were satisfied with harm length, Jesus never would have died. And the Holy Spirit never would have descended. He made us to crave it in his union. And then he offered himself for the craving. Religion isn't enough as an exhilarating, thriving marriage is. If that not your experience with God, something needs to change. Draw close to Him in complete trust and desperate love, and He will draw close to you in the holy passion. This union is for females, planned from eternity. Past, embrace it by letting His Spirit embrace you. That is His word. We are destined lovers. Christ has given us reasons to live. He loves us. Let us not take the Christian world, the Christianity, to religion. Religions involve series of things that do not give glory to God. 
But Christianity is not so. It is a belief. It is all about you know, it is all about knowing. It is all about discovering. A bridegroom cannot marry when the heart is not ready. Stay blessed and share this word to others.